Max and Ruby. Ruby and Max. Max and Ruby. Ruby and her little brother Max. Ruby delivers. This icing looks just like our Bunny Scout uniforms. Perfect for our Bunny Scout bake sale. Now I just need to... Wow! You have to watch where you fly. These cupcakes are for the Bunny Scout bake sale today. Now I have to make some flyers for the bake sale. Flyers? And I've really got to hurry because the sale starts soon. You go play outside, okay, Max? I'll call you when the flyers are ready to be delivered. Anyone who sees this flyer is going to come to the sale for sure. Huh? Oh no. Flyer! <laughs> Not that kind of flyer, Max. This kind of flyer. See? These flyers are announcements that you make up on a piece of paper. When people read this, they'll know the Bunny Scouts are having a bake sale today. We have to deliver flyers to Grandma, and the Huffingtons, and Rosalinda, and Candy, and... Wow! I need to get these done fast! Together. Max, I need you to keep your flyers outside so I can make my flyers inside, okay? <sighs> now I'll we'll have to start all over again. Oh, that looks just like the Bunny Scout maroon icing on my cupcakes. Perfect. There, this one's perfect. I've got to hurry if I'm going to get the rest done in time. Huh? Max! Flyer! Max, I think your airplane toys are a lot of fun too. But I've got to get my flyers made so I can deliver them before the bake sale. Now please leave your outside toys outside. Okay, Max? Oh no! That paper fell right on top of my flyer. Now I'll we'll have to start all... Oh! I was worried when the papers got stuck together it would ruin my flyer. But instead, I've got two perfect ones. Hmm, that gives me a great idea. Perfect every time. Flyer. Oh, still wet. I can't roll them up yet, so I can't deliver them. Oh, what if they don't dry in time? Oh, no! Max, turn it off! 
I'm trying to dry my flyers so I can... Flyers! Max. This flyer's going to be all... Dry? All the flyers are dry. The wind from the helicopter must have dried them. Perfect. Max, can you please bring your wagon out front? We've got to deliver these flyers in a hurry. The Bunny Scout Bake Sale is starting soon. Whew. Is your wagon all ready, Max? <laughs> flyers? We need the wagon to deliver these flyers. Flyers. If we don't hurry up and deliver them, it's going to be too late. What are you doing with my flyer? to read the flyer. Bunny Scout Bake Sale today at 10 a.m. Oh, good. <laughs> that was incredible. Flyers. <laughs> Max, do you think you can do that with all my flyers? Rosalinda? I just got this flyer about the Bunny Scouts bake sale. I can't wait. Thanks, Rosalinda. You're going to love my cupcakes. Max, you've delivered all of my flyers with your flyers. Getting crabby at the beach. Get it, Grandma! I got it! <laughs> Good catch, Grandma! Phew! I think I'll take a little break now. What are you two beach bunnies going to do? Hmm. I know. We could make a tidal pool. I couldn't have had a better idea myself. Bunny Scout Leader told us how to make one. You dig a hole on the beach not too far from the water. Then you put stones and shells into it. When I used to make them, we put seaweed in them, too. You did? Yes, I did. And when the tide comes in and fills it with water, you, you got, got a beautiful, beautiful tidal pool. <laughs> <laughs> Crab! It would be great if a crab visited our tidal pool, Max, but crabs are very shy and very fast. Crab! Come on, Max. Let's get started. This is the perfect place for our tidal pool, Max. Close enough to the water and not too far from Grandma. Now we need to find some stones and seaweed and shells to put in it. Bunny Scout Leader says when you pick up shells, only pick up the ones you find on the beach. Crab! If you do see a crab, don't pick it up, because they like to be left alone. Okay, Max? Why don't you look for shells that way, and I'll look this way? Wow! 
There sure are lots of shells and stones. We'll be able to make a beautiful tidal pool. You're pretty. <gasps> a sand dollar. Huh. It's got a little crack in it. Oh well. I guess it's just a cent short of a sand dollar. <laughs> I've got so many shells and stones, I can't carry them all. I know. I'll go get my bucket. Max, you started to dig a hole for our tidal pool. Great idea. Crap. I don't think you'll find a crab, but look what I found. See? And there's lots more where they came from. I need this bucket to carry them all. I'll be back in a few minutes. <laughs> there are so many pretty shells and stones on the beach. Aha! Uh -huh. I think this shell with brown and white stripes is a clam shell. <gasps> A conch shell! Bunny Scout Leader says they're very rare, so you shouldn't take them off the beach. But it would be okay to move it to our tidal pool. getting smaller instead of bigger. Crab! Uh, come and see what I found. I think we have almost everything we need. Look, Max. This is a conch shell. If you hold it up to your ear, you can hear the ocean. Crab! You can hear a crab in there? Sounds like the ocean to me. This conch shell will be the centerpiece of our tidal pool. I'll put it over here while we decide where the others will go. Okay, now let's see what else we've got. I like this pink shell. Isn't it pretty? Just put it over there for now. And look at this clam shell, Max. See the brown and white stripes? They'll look really pretty underwater. Crab! You can look for a crab later. Now we have to decide what goes where. I found this long strand of seaweed. It'll go right around the edge of the tidal pool like an underwater hedge. Don't go now, Max. We're just about to start the fun part. It's time to put all the shells we collected in the tidal pool. <gasps> They're all gone. Where did they go? Max, what happened to all those shells and stones and seaweed? Didn't you put them right here on this side where I asked you to? <laughs> well, they aren't here now. I don't know what's going on here, but it's very fishy. Crab! We don't have a crab, Max. And we don't have a conch shell, or any seaweed, or a clam shell, or a mussel shell. All we have left is this sand dollar. Well, well, well. I couldn't have done better myself. What do you mean, Grandma? I mean you made a wonderful tidal pool. What tidal pool? This one, right here. Oh, I can't 
can't believe it. But how did they all get here? Huffington asked us to take care of baby Huffington while she gets ready for her garden party. Do you want to ring the doorbell? <laughs> and remember, Max, we have to be careful when we look after baby Huffington. It's a big responsibility and I need your help. Okay, Max? Hello, Ruby. Hello, Max. You're right on time. I've got baby Huffington all set up here in the living room. I'll be right outside in the backyard if you need me. Okay, Mrs. H, but I'm sure we'll be just fine. We've looked after baby Huffington before, right, Max? Oh, I know, Ruby, but sometimes baby Huffington can get a little fussy. So call me if you need me. I will, Mrs. H. You can count on us. Right, Max? Emergency. Red alert. Max, you brought all your noisy toys. Nice. Those aren't for babies, Max. Do you know what babies like? Babies like nice, quiet toys. Right, Baby Huffington? Don't you worry. We'll make sure you stay happy, not fussy. Ah! Nice! Max! Oh, no! Babies like nice, gentle sounds. Nice? No, Max. The sound your ambulance makes isn't nice. It's noise. <laughs> Baby Huffington is getting fussy. You see? He wants a nice, gentle sound like... I know! Like a lullaby. Why don't I sing you a nice little lullaby? You'd like that, wouldn't you, Baby H? rock a bye baby on the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will... <coughs> oh, my! <coughs> How is everyone doing in there? Huh? Well, Baby H was a little fussy, but I think we're okay now. All right, dear. Just checking. Okay. Oh, no! <laughs> nice! Max, that sound is not nice. It's noise. Babies like nice, gentle sounds. Not drums and cymbal crashes. And not loud ambulance sirens. <laughs> See? Baby Huffington is upset. Hmm. We need to find a toy that babies like. Nice! Max, Baby Huffington doesn't want another one of your noisy toys. He wants something like... his baby rattle. Perfect! Babies love rattles. See? Oopsie! You dropped it! Here you go, Baby Huffington. Here's your rattle back. Oh, no! You dropped your rattle under the couch. I'll get it for you, Baby Huffington. Nice? Oh, Max, that sound is 
isn't nice. It's noise. Here you go, Baby H. Oh, I guess Baby Huffington doesn't want his rattle. Hmm. There has to be a toy here that makes a nice, gentle sound that Baby Huffington will like. A music box. Perfect. Is everything all right in there, Ruby? Yes, Mrs. H. We're just fine. Don't worry. That's good. Thank you, Ruby. <laughs> oh, Max. Baby Huffington wants to hear nice, gentle sounds. Like this beautiful music box. Just watch the look on his face when I turn this on. I don't know what else to try, Max. Baby oh. Huffington doesn't seem to like the sound of lullabies or rattles or music boxes. I wonder what nice sound would make him happy. Nice! Max! Baby Huffington doesn't want to listen to your noisy, screaming green alien gorilla. <laughs> That's funny. Baby Huffington looks happy. Hmm. Let's try this, Max. Just turn off your screaming green alien gorilla for a second. Now I'll try the music box. Now turn on the gorilla again, Max. What is all that noise? Ruby, Max! <laughs> Max and I found out that baby Huffington thinks noise is nice! 